Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes, awesome God, wonderful God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank him. We praise him. We love him today. We adore him. We lift him up this morning. Good morning, Janice Gerald. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Geraldine Simmons. Good morning, Sabrina Wilkinson. Hallelujah. Good morning, Janice Moultrie. Praise the Lord. Marcia Cave, good morning. Yes, yes. Odette Pinnell, good morning. Yes, yes, he is. Yes. Sandra God favor me sample. Good morning. Gwen Crawford Collins, good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, we praising him and blessing his holy name this morning. For there is no God like our God. He sits high and looks low. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. We just love you this morning, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Psalm 29. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon is Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hives the calf and discovereth the forest bare. And in his temple doeth every one speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the, the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Auntie Willie May. Good morning, Juanita Hudson. <laughs> Psalm 96. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathens that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful in all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the woods rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world of righteousness and the people with his truth. Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. What an awesome and wonderful God that we serve today. Yes, he is holy. He is powerful. He is mighty. Yes, and we just thank him and praise him right now. Oh, Heavenly Father, yes. Last Psalm, Psalm 138. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Hallelujah. And the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth the far off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies. And thy right hand shall save me. 
The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We give you glory and honor. We esteem you high. Lord God, we come to lift you up, to magnify you and glorify you this Tuesday morning. Because there is no God like our God. Father, you sit high, but you looking low this morning. Father, we thank you for waking us up and breathing into us the breath of life today. Lord God, we thank you this morning that we come to hollow out your name, to give you honor, to give you glory. Father, we come to esteem you high. Thank you this morning, Jehovah Jireh, for supplying all of our need according to your riches and glory. We glorify you this morning, Jehovah Shabbat, the Lord of hosts of heaven's armies of angels. Thank you for your protection last night and all day on today, God. Jehovah Nisi, our banner this morning. Father, this battle was not ours, but it's yours. Lord God, we lift you up this morning. Jehovah is the one that sets us apart, that cleanses and scourges us, the one who sanctifies us. We thank you and praise you this morning. Jehovah Ropa, our healer today. Lord God, you sent your word and your word healed us. Father, we thank you and praise you that we're healed from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, to our innermost being, we are healed. And by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed today. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, you are Adonai, sovereign and majestic God. We glorify you. You are Elohim, the creative God, the creator of all things. Father God, we thank you and praise you. El Elyon, you are the most high God. Father, there is no God like you. No other God that sits high and looks low like you do. No other God that loves like you do. Father God, we just praise you. We esteem you high this morning. We thank you. Thank you right now. El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, God of the mountains, the source of all of our blessings today. Thank you, hallelujah, Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd this morning. Father God, we glorify you right now. Jehovah Shammah, our companion this morning. Father, we just thank you and praise you. Jehovah Tashikinu, the God of our righteousness. But Lord God, we thank you. That you are the same God as yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same God you were to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, you are to us today. And we just thank you, God. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, the bread of life the final atonement for all of our sins, our Savior, our Redeemer. Father, we thank you this morning for your presence, God. We just thank you and praise you right now that in you we live, move, and have our being. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. We thank you for your Holy Ghost, your comforter, your strengthener, your helper, your intercessor, your counselor, our advocate. Father, we thank you for your presence that's in us and upon us, your presence that give us power, that give us might, strength, and ability. Lord God, we thank you that we can do all things through you, God, through Christ, who strengthens us this morning, God. Father, we thank you that there's nothing too hard for you in our lives today. Lord God, we thank you that you've given us our daily bread on earth as it is in heaven. We have no lack, God, and we just thank you and praise you now in Jesus' name. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you this morning, Father. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a wonderful God. And there is no God like our God this morning. Somebody say, my God loves me. Say it again. My God loves me. Say it one more time. My God loves me. Hallelujah, give him some praise wherever you are, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you for loving us, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you and just praise you. We just love you and lift you up this morning, hallelujah. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me pray for you today. Father God, I come right now on behalf of my brothers and sisters who are with me at this very present moment in prayer. Lord, I pray your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. 
Father, I thank you that you increase as we all decrease today. Father, I thank you right now that nothing, no thing shall stop us or block us from doing what you have anointed us to do today. Lord God, I thank you that you have supplied us with everything that we need. Father, we have the mindset, we have the skills, we have the thought patterns. God, we have the ability that might to do that which we set out to do this day. Father, we cast all of our cares on you today because you care for us. Father, I declare we cast sickness and disease upon you and you healed us. Father, we cast lack and poverty upon you and you made us rich and wealthy. You supplied our need according to your riches and glory. Lord God, I thank you for depression and oppression. You've given us joy, unspeakable joy. The world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. Father God, I thank you and praise you this morning that we are as wise as serpents and are as humble as doves. Father, I thank you for pouring out your love, your joy, your peace, your patience, your faithfulness, hallelujah, your kindness and goodness, hallelujah, your strength, your self-control into us today and upon us today. Lord God, I thank you for opening our eyes to see what you see about us, God. Father God, I thank you that even though the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, that you, Lord, that you will not allow us to suffer, to go through lack, God. Father, I thank you this morning, oh, Heavenly Father, everything we need, God, you've already provided. Every way the door has been opened. And, Lord God, we just want to thank you and praise you this morning. But Father, I also pray. I pray for spouses and children today. I pray for their protection and direction. I pray for sanctification and salvation in their life. Father God, I thank you right now. Oh, Heavenly Father, that you're touching them as we're praying to you, as we cast them up on you, as we give them to you, God. I thank you that you are the manufacturer and that if anything is broken, you will make it right. You will put it back in the state that you created it. Father, I thank you for the hands of protection that's all around our spouses and our children and our children's children and beyond, Father. Thank you for watching over our mothers and our fathers, our sisters and our brothers, our aunts and uncles, our nieces, our nephews, our grandparents, our cousins, godparents and god siblings, god children, God. Thank you for keeping them and making them whole. Father, we just thank you that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and you add no sorrow with it today. Father God, I thank you that you have not made us sorrowful, but you you have blessed us, God, and we thank you this morning. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you. We love him this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good to see y'all today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said the blessing of the Lord has made me rich. And my God has no sorrow with it. I don't apologize for my blessings or my favor. In Jesus' name, give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, this morning, I want to start off with the favor confession this morning. I want to start us off with the favor confession. I declare that we have favor already operating on our behalf. Favor was moving for you while you were asleep. Favor was moving for you while you were working. Favor is still working on your behalf this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got favor. Somebody say, I got favor. Not ordinary favor, but God's favor on my life. Say this after me. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited favor, your supernatural power and ability that surrounds my life as a shield. The favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my home, on my job, with my businesses. I have favor, good success, and a good understanding. In the sight of God 
and man, I declare that my God has raised up and is raising up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, discernment, knowledge, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. My God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, discernment, revelation knowledge, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. The favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, ordinances to be changed, created, modified, to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I am Abraham's seed, and the blessings and favor and hope of Abraham are on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it one more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time. Hallelujah. And I got those who can't right now. Hallelujah. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down this favor this morning from the north, south, east, and west. I'm declaring favor is an operation in your life right now. Hallelujah. It's moving on your behalf right now. You may not even step out the door, may not have even got out of the bed, but God has already orchestrated favor in your life. Hallelujah. So come on, come on, come on. Let's pull down that favor. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down favor from the north, south, east, and west. In Jesus' name, pull it down this morning. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, pull down that favor today. Listen, you got to expect favor to work for you. You got to expect God's blessing to be in operation for your life. You have to expect. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Your hope leads to faith. You don't see it, but faith is the evidence that you believe is going to show up. Remember, I told you, God told me faith is confident expectations in God's power and ability to operate in your life, to change your life. Faith, like my shirt says this morning, faith is a game changer. I believe that. Faith changes the game. Faith causes you to go places you not what well, you normally can't go. Faith, faith causes you to, be, to come in the presence of people you normally don't go in the presence of. Your gift makes room for you. And God's favor helps you. Hallelujah. And sometimes we don't recognize, but we turn away God's favor. Because you can think that God won't use the person he's sending to help you. But you got to understand, when God's favor is on your life, he'll use people you won't even think he'll use. And you'll be like, I know they want something. Yeah, God sent them there to help you. That's all they want to do is help you. Because they maybe they seen how you help others. So they just want to help you. But let that favor operate in your life today. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get in this God is able confession this morning. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say this out to me. Say, Father, I declare that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all I dare to act, think, or imagine according to your power, your word working in me. You sent Jesus so that I will have life and enjoy my life in abundance to the full, till it overflows. I speak words that give life to others and myself. The words I speak build up, encourage, motivate, inspire, and uplift. My words never, never, never Tear down, destroy, discourage, or divide. No foul, polluted, profane, or corrupt language will come out of my mouth, of my heart. I declare that my life is a reflection of God, his word, and his spirit. Working in me, I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus, and I live a renewed life. I can do what my God has planned, created, purposed, and willed for me to do through Christ Jesus. My God has healed my mind, body, soul, emotions, and spirit by the stripes of Jesus. He supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Anything, anything, anything I ask of the Father, I ask it in the name of Jesus. And it is done for me. I live and walk by faith and not by sight. Say it again. I live and walk by faith. I live and walk by faith. My God has given me a measure of faith and my faith move mountains. I have faith, confidence, expectation in God's power and ability to change my life in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, I, I know God is able and I'm going to keep declaring God is able because I know that my God, our God, will do exceeding abundantly above all we ask, think, or imagine. I don't care what it looks like, but you got to understand this, that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you dare to ask or think or even imagine according to the power, which is how the faith that you have working in you. Hallelujah. Look at, look at how Paul put that back on us. When Paul wrote this to the church at Ephesus in Ephesians 3.20, he put it back on us. He said, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you that ask or think according to the power working in you. And where we get that power from? We get that power from, our, from the word. We get that power from our faith. When you got little faith, you got little power. When you have much faith, you have much power. Hallelujah. If, if, if your faith is only extended to your light bill, God obligated, obligated to meet your need. Your faith should be bigger than that. It depends on the power that you have working in you. So you got to understand that. You determine how much Power is operating in your life. You determine 
what God do in your life based on your faith, based on your knowledge of the word, based on your belief in the word. You got to put it back where it belongs. So understand that. His faith, your faith in God moved mountain. Think about it. You can go back and you can look back over your life and you can see a moment where you really, really believe. You, you didn't give up. You was like a pit bull on it. And see, that's what we got to do. Hallelujah. We got to have that pit bull-like faith. We got to have that, 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 that lion faith, that tiger faith that, hey, once we lock on, we're never letting go until we have the victory. So understand that this morning. Lock in in faith. Lock in. Be zeroed in on what it is you're trying to accomplish. What it is you want God to do in your life. Be zeroed in on it and don't let nothing or no one change it or stop it. Hallelujah. You trust God and you say, God, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. You got to get, hey, you got to get your faith. You got to get your, come on. Use that word. Speak the word. God is a God that called things that be not as though they were. And we cannot be afraid to call things that be not as though they were. We cannot be afraid to operate in faith. It takes faith to believe in a God that you cannot see. Take that same amount of faith and believe that God who you cannot see will bless you so that you can see him. Come on, use your faith. Hallelujah. Come on, get your, uh, I mean, hey, this is, what we, this is what we do. We're people of faith. We're believers. We're Christian. And we got to, excuse me, believe that our God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we dare to ask, think, or imagine according to the power that's working in us. Remember what Jesus said? <clears throat> Jesus said this. He said, Ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. What he was saying was, when you receive the Holy Ghost, not when you catch the Holy Ghost, because see, catching the Holy Ghost is what we call things that when people in church just shouting and dancing and running all around, that's catching the Holy Ghost. There's no power in catching the Holy Ghost. The power is when you receive the Holy Ghost. He said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the power of God. You get more of this word in you, you're just going to strengthen that power. It's like a battery. When, 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 when you're filled with the word and your faith is up, you're fully charged. Well, guess what? Your faith going to be tested. And it's gonna, and so it's gonna decrease. But guess what? You get recharged. You don't let it go. I don't know who this is for this morning. I don't know what you're going through, but I'm telling you right now that whatever it is, it's not gonna change until you believe. Let put your faith on it. Get don't don't put your flesh on it. If you're gonna speak about it, speak faith over it. Declare that God is giving you the victory. Declare that, hey, the Lord has turned this around. Declare that it's already done and it's working for my good because I love God. I, I, I obey God. Hallelujah. And I'm doing God's will. So I'm walking in faith and believing that God has already turned this situation around. He's already given me peace. He's already healed me. He's already delivered me. He's already made me rich and wealthy. Whatever it is. Believe God. He's already turned the marriage around. Believe God. Put faith to work today, my brothers and my sisters. Let faith have her way. And be patient. You got to wait on it. You got to wait on it. But don't you give up. Don't you let go. Don't you let go. You know, you hold on. While you got it in your clutches, you hold on to it and don't let go. Don't be dismayed. Don't you be dissuaded. Don't let people come in 
and try to talk you out of what you're doing. People are going to call you crazy, but that's all right. Let them call you crazy. Because when God show out when that, when, when, when that promise comes, they're going to change it from, I knew you could do it. They, they, they the same ones gonna, that was calling you crazy. They're going to be saying, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. How they knew you could do it if, hey, that, that while you was trying to do it, they was trying to talk you out of it. But understand this morning, you got to hold on. You got to stay faithful. You can't give up. Put some action behind your faith. Faith without works is dead. Corresponding action is dead. My brothers and sisters, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but I'm telling you, just receive it and know that God, our God is with you. But know that he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you dare to act or think according to the power that's working in you. You got to believe. You got to believe. I don't care what's happening. That business that you're doing, you got to believe. Yeah, it may seem like nothing is changing, nothing is turning around. Ain't no customers or as you're getting a few customers. Let me tell you something. Don't you stop. Don't you quit. If you listen to anybody talk about success, they'll talk about their failures. They'll talk about their disappointments. And success don't just stop one time. Success never goes on sale. It don't, it don't take a break. You keep working because once you reach one level of success, now you're trying to get to another level. You're going to go through the same thing. But faith will take you there. So my brothers and sisters this morning, just keep believing. Keep believing. Keep trusting in God. Let me say a prayer for your faith right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you right now. On the behalf of all of us, including myself. Father, you have given to us a measure of faith. But you've also given us power to go along with that measure. Father, I ask for your help this morning to help strengthen all of us, that our faith don't waver, that we be steadfast, immovable, rooted and grounded in you, God, believing that you will do what your word says you will do. You will do what you spoke to us. Father God, I thank you right now that anybody's on the verge of quitting, giving up, that they have received encouragement to keep going. They have received the word of confirmation to keep moving, to keep pushing. Lord God, that they don't quit, that they believe in you and believe in themselves, that they believe the words that I've spoken them this, to them this morning, God, that they are prospering right now, that you have established and the words that I spoke is causing them to prosper according to your word, according to your will, your plan for their lives today. Father God, I just thank you and praise you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. There's an old saying, no pain, no gain. This morning, my body is sore because I went to the gym and I pushed myself. I increased what I was doing. But I said that if I want to achieve my goal of being a better me, I got to push myself. I can't keep doing the same thing because nothing is going to change. So I had to stretch a little bit. And does it hurt? Yeah. But I know it's hurting because of the end result that I desire to have. You may be going through some pains and trials and tribulations right now. It, it may be hurting. And for some of us, excuse my French, it may be hurting like hell. But don't you quit. Don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. Keep pushing. Keep stretching. Keep exercising your belief. Keep exercising your faith. And you will receive the reward that you are uh, pursuing. You will reach your goal. You'll finish school. You'll finish that class. Your business will increase. Don't give up now. 
keep going. Okay? So with that being said, <clears throat> I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. I want you to stay encouraged. I want you to keep believing in God. Don't stop. Don't quit. Go get it. Go after it. Put you into it. And watch God work. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Bring somebody else with you. So on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautiful is wonderful, is best, is blessed, is Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire baptized, amazing, anointed, hallelujah, yes, devil stumping, committed, dedicated, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and of course, you, our Uplift Church Facebook Live family. God bless you, and I love you. Looking forward to hearing your testimonies. Peace. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Hallelujah.